Hi guys, so today I'm filming a really big haul. I might actually split it into two videos because I've just been kind of collecting things like a magpie, you know. Um, just really in love with shopping at the moment, so it's not very good for my bank balance. But um, I went shopping in Primark last Sunday. It's taken me like a, it's taken me just under a week to film this video because I got back from my holiday in Tunisia on Sunday morning, really early, about two in the morning. I actually went to bed as the clocks went back, and then I went shopping to Primark to just to get some wintry clothes because I just I had nothing. Um, it was just all summery stuff I had and where I've lost some weight and everything I just feel like all my clothes are a bit big and baggy and I just wanted something new so I kind of just went to Primark and bought a load of stuff and it's kind of strange because none of it I'm returning I actually like everything I've bought because I spent ages in there and I was like trying things on as I was going around like jumpers and stuff because I don't like going in the changing rooms in Primark because they're just mental but um yeah I've I spent like over £100 in Primark, it was kind of nutty, but yeah, I really um, like everything I bought and I thought I'd show you. I bought some other things as well, but I might do them in a separate video seeing how long this video takes, I don't know. But yeah, I went to Lush and HomeSense and went to, obviously, Boots because, you know, I like makeup. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you everything I got from Primark, so if you want to keep watching, so keep watching. this is the huge bag of everything I got. There's one item that isn't in here because um, it's here. I'll shut the bag on the floor because I'm making so much noise. But it's a coat and that was this was kind of the, one of the main reasons I went to Primark to get a new coat because my other coat's just seen better days. But um, I will give a shout out to Victoria Vintage. I will link her blog below. Um, she was basically the person who made me get this coat because I saw it on her and actually saw the scarf she was wearing as well and I got that as well, but you know. Um, I saw this on her and I was just like, that is beautiful, I want it, I need it, I need it in my life. And it's this beautiful, um, kind of, I wanna say like a mulberry wine colour. It's like, or aubergine or eggplant, if you want to call it. Maybe a bit, maybe just slightly different, but it's got lovely gold buttons on it and it's got like a little band that goes around your waist. It's, um, what do you call it? It's a mm, double breasted or something like that. I don't know. But um, I have an um, Instagram picture on my, um, on my um, Instagram if you wish to see, which I'll link below. But yeah, um, £25 for this coat, it's absolutely lovely. Um, it, it's not like the warmest coat, but for like fashion wise, it's just totally perfect. Um, they do have other colours as well. They have like a teal colour, grey, black. Um, I think they have a cream as well. So yeah, lots of different colours. And look, just the detailing on the shoulders, it's just a little rouged. And everything it's just really really great i'm sorry i'm crap at describing things but you know yeah so it's really really nice and it's just above the knee it finishes for me so yeah really really like that i might try and stick a picture in of me wearing it so you can see in more detail um and the um scarf i got as well which um victoria vintage had as well um or is it Vintage Victoria? I think I'm getting it wrong, I can't remember, I'm sorry. But um, it's this, scar this scarf, and it matches and goes with the coat really well because it's got the same um, colour there, but it's really, really nice. It's got like tassels on the end. Um, this cost four pounds. Oh, the coat cost 25 pounds, by the way, so totally inexpensive. But yeah, um, this really is lovely to go with that, and I've been wearing it all week. It's just my go-to little outfit. Okay, so let's get on to what's in the bag. Um, um, I'll get the boring stuff out of the way. I bought some cotton pads because they are one pound and you get two packs of 80, so it's great. And I always buy them from Primark because it's like one pound, it's ridiculous. And they're actually quite good quality as well. So I'm gonna get everything. Should I get everything out? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to grab everything out of the bag. Okay. So, ooh. sorry, dropped on the floor. First kind of item is an argan oil. 
that I've seen in there before and I quite like the look of and it's this tiny little argan oil, it's two pounds see that, It'll be interesting to try this out um, it is the husk uh, argan oil from Morocco, healing shine hair treatment um, added keratin for smoothness um, doesn't really say that much, it just says can be used on both wet and dry hair to create silky smooth finish apply a coin size amount evenly throughout the hair avoiding the roots and then style as desired so um, it's got like a little cap on there that you just push off um, I haven't opened it yet but um, yeah I'd be interested to try that out and as it's two pounds so you know you can't really go wrong um, okay so another scarf which I totally adored this scarf when I saw it and it was four pounds as well it's not a scarf it's a snood I apologize um, it's got robins on it and robins are like my favorite bird it's just so sweet look at that it's got little robins on it it's so adorable and they look like little lovebird robins because it's got like a little teeny heart it's just so pretty but yeah um it's quite big um and i really really love it i haven't worn it yet because i've been wearing the um other one but yeah this is so adorable i just yeah it's just so pretty and i couldn't not have it because it's just i love robins and with the festive period coming up as well i just thought that was perfect and talking of festive i bought a christmas jumper um last year when i wanted to get a christmas jumper i left it too late i literally was hunting around like a week before christmas for a christmas jumper and lots of people had such adorable jumpers and i was just like i need one i need one and i couldn't find them because they were sold out so this year i got in there early and i got this one and it's got a penguin on it yeah and it's got like sequin little bubbles and it's just so adorable and i love it and it's just really lovely and it was what was this this was 12 pounds and i just think i can't wait to wear this at christmas it's just so adorable and yay so that is that that was so pretty um i also got another jumper which i wore yesterday um I will say one thing though, I got this in a size 10 because it's supposed to be a really baggy jumper and if I'd bought this in a size 14, which I would normally buy, um, I think it would have literally just hung like a sheet on me. It had no kind of shape to it so I actually sort of went down the sizes and I like I tried a 12 and it was still huge and then I tried a 10 and it was just like perfect but it's got a little bunny on it. <laughs> so adorable i wore it yesterday and everyone was like oh that's so cute it's got like this really cute soft bunny on it and it's kind of like you can see that it's kind of like textured little bunny oh, i love it um i can't remember how much this was i think it was about 12 pounds again because i've taken the label out obviously but yeah i really thought this was adorable and for like winter and yeah i just love it it's so cute and it's kind of like a gray beige color so it's just adorable. Um, I got an, quite a few jumpers actually. I got this one, which is great and pink. Um, it's kind of like a, quite a short jumper. I can't really show you. But this isn't, this wasn't, if you want to get this, this is not in their um, women's clothing department. It's actually in the um, underwear department. It's part of their bed um, clothes um section so um, and i thought when i saw it i thought that's just a really lovely jumper and it's just to, to me it hasn't got like must be worn in bed only or slouching around the house it it can be worn out as well and this was what was this this was six pounds and just really lovely as well it's kind of like a charcoal gray and bright fuchsia pink and yeah i really really love it and it's really soft as well um, for six pound i just thought well i'll throw that in my basket really really love it love it <laughs> i have also bought a hoodie um i just it's a bit of a boring hoodie it's just gray but it's really really soft um it's got like pockets and a zip and like little toggle pulley things and a hood um i got uh this for nine pounds um 
I just need something like just throw it on and veg out around the house type or just popping to the shops kind of item really. Um, I don't really have many type hoodie jumper, jumper sweatshirt type things so yeah I really really like that. And last jumper I got was this one and it could be like almost a dress because it's so long. This was £14, um, it's a cream jumper, it's got this really lovely pattern on the front but it's like a cream jumper and it's got like different kind of colours in the stitching, it's kind of got um, a black and like a mustard kind of in there so it's not just cream, it's just got these nice, kind of looks like you drop food down you if you know what I mean, it's got these kind of splatters of different colour in there but it also has these little faux suede um what is that material called i can't remember what it's called um like a faux suede it's not suede i can't remember what it's called i'll find out but it had these on the elbows which are really really lovely just giving it a little bit of a different kind of look and it's really long as you can see so yeah, it's just above my knees it finishes, so you could just wear it with leggings and or, or skinny jeans and it would be great, so that's that. And then I picked up some accessories. I saw this on the side and I just knew I had to have it because I'd actually been looking for a little purse um, wristlet type um, wallet purse for quite a while. Um, and this was only £3, but it's got a little... Um, kind of matches my iPad case but the studs are different I'll link the picture to my um, review of the um, iPad case below if you want to see that but it's really really cute and you can fit quite a lot in it it's got stuffing in it at the moment but I think it's like a perfect purse just to run down to the shops with and just maybe stick your phone in there or your just your credit cards and stuff like that and it's just tiny teeny or even going clubbing if you wanted to but I don't go clubbing anymore because I'm too old but um yeah the final items are clothing type accessories I bought some Christmas socks I think these are adorable and they're so soft the beard is just like adorable and you get a grey pair with um, presents on and then you get this one has got little Santas saying hoo 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 and these were £2 for three pairs and I can't wait to wear these for Christmas I think they're adorable and then finally I'm just going to show you what it is I might put it on, I might ruin my hair but um, it's a panda hat Ta -da! I think Miss Glamorazzi would really like this but um, or Ingrid um, yeah it's a little panda hat I might put it on It's like a tea cosy, and I won't put it on. But um, I did um, tweet a um, Instagram picture of this, and this is just so adorable. And it's only three pounds. It's totally cute, and my arm keeps cracking. Yeah, it's so cute and adorable, and I loved it. And I just thought, for like a laugh, just buy it because it's adorable. So yeah, that was my Primark haul. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video because I think this video is gonna be quite long, and show you everything else I've bought recently. So. Um, keep tuned in for that video which will probably come after this one so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon